your day just got a whole lot better. You're listening to the Mutual Audio Drama Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. Brad, Arnie, uh, the show will be starting in just a few minutes, and I know we're going to be working late today, so uh, would you guys like to order a pizza? Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. Very generous of you, Mr. Bell. We'll be splitting the cost. Then, no, let's not do a pizza. <sighs> All right, it'll be my treat. Excellent, a nice big pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni? I get pepperoni, you can get a supreme. No, 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 simplicity is best. Just pepperoni, otherwise I'd have to pick off all the stuff I don't like. Guys. If we could pick off stuff we don't like, you would have been picked off long ago. Yeah, well, hey, guys. <laughs> Here, someone mentioned free pizza. Yeah, Mr. Bell is treating everybody to free pizza. Oh, wait a minute, I thought it was just... Are we getting a supreme? Yes. Pepperoni. Oh, I like pepperoni. That's a spirit. Along with sausage, Canadian bacon. Now you're talking. Mushrooms. Yeah. Pineapple. Yeah, what? Wait, no. What's wrong with pineapple? You don't put pineapple on a pizza. Why don't you put pineapple on pizza? It's just to be a pizza. Baloney. Now that's okay. How about a supreme pizza with pineapple on the side for those that want to add it? How about a pepperoni pizza with sausage? Sausage and mushrooms and Canadian bacon and even pineapple on the side in case you want to add them. That's ridiculous. Guys, I let's... I want my... I want my pineapple pepperoni. Supreme! Do I get a say in this? Who are you? I'm the new occasionally recurring character introduced in episode 159. I'm Oliver. Oh, Oliver. Oliver. Who would want liver on their pizza? It's better than pineapple. Pepperoni! Okay, okay, there's only one way to do this. We gotta take a vote. I vote for pepperoni. A secret vote. I secretly vote for pepperoni. Look, get some index cards. Give one to everybody and we'll all vote on the pizza we want. And to keep it simple, it's only pepperoni or supreme. Yay! Whatever. I want pineapple. You can go and get your own pineapple. Keep it away from me. Where are the index cards? Look, you guys take care of finding the cards and everything. I've got a guest coming in and as soon as I'm done with the guest, I'll cast my vote and we'll count them up, alright? I don't think we have any index cards here. Well, go buy some. Okay, I'll head over to CVS and pick some up. And what's wrong with Walgreens? I prefer Rite Aid's. Sheep at the five and dime. What's the five and dime? Oh, guys, just figure it out. My guest is coming in. Now get out of here and take care of it. All right, all right. I'm headed to Walgreens. There's a right aid right down the street. Anybody got a dime? Out, 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 out. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to Bells in the Battery. I'm your genial host, John Bell, and today's episode is going to be a little different. We're going to break away from the usual foolishness and yuck-yuck comedy, such as it is, and uh, bring you some actual painters. These are people who are artistically inclined, and uh, my first guest... Yes, that's me. And your name is? Clave Boulier. Clyde Bellier. Clove. 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 Boulier. Boulier, yes. Boulier. And you are an Impressionist painter. Yes, I am. Ah, uh, Impressionism, an art style of painting that has the appearance of being rough and unfinished and characterized by small, thin, visible brush strokes. Yes. And the subject matter is usually of common and ordinary subjects with an emphasis on the accurate depiction of light. Isn't that something? These are often painted outdoors to capture the natural sunlight and color of their subjects. Black is rarely used, Ooh. since Impressionist artists prefer mixing and using dark tones and complementary colors. Complementary. Impressionism is more of a representation of an artist's impression. It doesn't try to be accurate in its detail, but rather is more of an expression of the heart. Isn't that wonderful? Now, Mr. Bumblebee... Boulier. Boulier has yes. actually agreed to do an Impressionist painting right here in the studio. And you've brought your uh, artist materials. Yes, I have my painting and my uh, brushes and other materials. Do you have a canvas ready? Well, I just thought I'd use your wall if that's all right. Wow, it would be interesting to have our own Impressionist painting right here on my wall, so go right ahead. Excellent. Okay, um, hand me that roller, please. Roller? Yes, that one right there. Um, okay, here. I would now like to uh, paint as Jimmy Stewart. Well, well, look, I, I'm painting the wall here. It, 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 looks, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Why are you talking like Jimmy? Oh, look, now now, now Homer Simpson is painting. What? Hey, Marge, I'm painting the wall here. Give me a beer, will you? Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. All you're doing is painting the wall red and talking like celebrities. Yes, th th those are my impressions. Impressions. 
So when you say you're an impressionist painter... I paint while doing my impressions. Impressions, I see. What did you expect? Uh, A lot more, apparently. Uh, Thank you for coming in today, Mr. Boumdier. Boulier. Yeah, whatever. Uh, You can go now. Thank you. Take your roller with you. I'll certainly do that. (laughs) Yes, thank you. That's very good. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah, so long, Doc. Okay, my next guest... Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell, here's your index card. Index card. The pizza vote. Oh, yes, right. Okay, let me write down on here which pizza I vote for. And here's my card. Thank you, Mr. Bell. Everybody else has already voted, so we'll have the results in just a moment. Good. Great. I can't wait. By the way, Mr. Bell, what's with the red wall here? Did a bottle of ketchup explode or something? I'll explain later. Oh, any toodles for now? Yes, toodles. And now let's... Welcome, my second guest. Oh, how are you? Um, my name is Peter Plachanist. I'm sorry, Peter of what? Plach, 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 plach. Can I just call you Peter? No. Okay, and uh, tell me, what kind of painter are you? I create cityscapes. I paint cities. Oh, okay, uh, let me get something straight. Now, when you say you paint cities, you don't mean that you go to a city and paint the walls of the city, do you? No, no, that'd be ridiculous, but I do like what you've done with this room. It's very, very red. Thank you, thank you. So you do paint cityscapes. Yes, I create um, images of bustling metropolises and skylines and the like. What are some of the cities you've created these paintings of? Oh, I've done New York City, um, New Orleans, of course, um, Berlin, I traveled there for that, and uh, Yazoo City, Mississippi. Yazoo City? Um, you ever been there? Uh, no, no, I haven't. It's quite lovely. Hmm. Would you like to buy a painting of it? Uh, well, not right now. Uh, so, are you going to actually paint a cityscape for us right now, Mr. Pickpocketness? Pockpocketness. Pockpocketness. Right. Yeah, I thought I'd do that. What city would you like a painting of? Well, how about this city, the city that the Mutual Audio Network sits in? Mm, I suppose I can do that. Can I open the window and take a look at the uh, city? Sure, sure. Here, let me open this window for you. Take a look. You really want a painting of this city? Well, yeah. Let's see, I think yeah, I got a lot of gray and... Well, it is kind of... Uh, dark blue here. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I'll go right ahead and do that. All right. So, where's uh, where's the cape? The cape? Mm-hmm. We don't actually launch rockets or anything here. We just... No, 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 no. I'm talking about the, the cape. Um, cape? Uh, I do cityscapes, so I paint cities on capes. capes. Okay. Um, let me see if uh, I can find uh, a uh, cape. Hold on. <laughs> I can invite a person who does cityscapes and they don't have a cape to put the cities on. Brad? Uh, Arnie? Yeah. Yeah. Uh Do either of you have a cape? A cape? Why in the world would either of us have a... Sure, I got capes. I got all sorts of capes. What kind do you need? I got Superman. I got Batman. I got Thor. I got Captain Marvel. I'm not talking about the new Captain Marvel. I'm talking about the original Captain Marvel from the 1940s. Yeah. Done by Wiz Comics, which was a division of Fawcett. Yeah, listen, They were written by Bill Parker and drawn by Shishi Beck. Ooh, what a great cartoonist he was. Yeah, well, could you... It was all about this kid named Billy Batson, and he would say the word Shazam. Arnie, 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 do you have a... A cape with you. Who doesn't go around without a cape? Hold on, let me take my shirt off here. I do not want to see this. Here you go, Miss Bell. Thank you, thank you. When was this last dry cleaned? Uh, here you go, Mr. Uh, Platypus. Uh, Miss Plock, Plock, uh, Give me a minute, here. I'll paint this for him. Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell, while he's doing that, we have a final vote count on the pizza. Oh, that's great. So, uh, how'd it come out? Seven votes for pepperoni and only two for Supreme. Ah, fooey. Wait, 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 Brad. Seven votes for pepperoni and two votes for Supreme? It was a landslide. There are only five people voting. Uh, no, it wasn't. Me, you, Brad, Hugo, and Oliver. 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 Yeah, how about that, Brad? How do you explain that? Well, you're not considering the um upstate vote in the uh uh-huh. mail in um uh-huh. um absentee um Brad who counted the votes? A panel of unbiased... Brad counted your votes. Yes, well, but you observed me as I was counting these votes. And... I didn't observe you counting the votes. I didn't even know you were counting the votes. Well, I sent you an invitation to come watch me count the votes, and you didn't come. I never received an invitation. Well, I put it in the mail this morning. You can't blame me. In the mail? Yes, it's the post officer's fault. Recount, recount, I come and recount. Oh, don't be such a sore loser. Why, you Hold are... it, hold it, hold it. 
I think we should have them counted by somebody who's completely impartial. Yeah, I told you. I'll count them. No, 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 you won't. And I can't either, so... Who in the world could we... Hello, Mr. Bell. Miss Schmeckelheimer. This is Miss Schmeckelheimer. Miss Sadie Schmeckelheimer. Yes, I know that. Since I... I have no skin in this game, or any skin at all, being a robot, I will be happy to count the votes for you. No, wait a minute. What's wrong with letting Miss Schmeckelheimer do it? How do I know she's an honest machine? I'll vouch for her. After all, I made her. Oh, like that's supposed to... Brad, 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 Miss Schmeckelheimer will count the ballots. Give them to her. No, no, right. Here you go. Thank you. I will have these tabulated in just a few moments. Thank you, Miss Schmackelheimer. I finished my cityscape. Oh, excellent. Let's take a look at it. Um, well, that's, um, it's like one building there. I'm a minimalist. But it's a painting of the Empire State Building. Your city needed improving. Okay, okay, I'll grant you that. Thank you, Mr... Pockmockle. Pockmockle. Uh, apocalypse. Pock, uh, pock, uh, thank you for coming by. Right. I'll send you my bill. All right. I, wait. You Wait. You What? At the top of the morning to you, my laddie. Oh, hi. You must be my next guest. Indeed, I am, laddie book. My name is Clancy O'Clancy. I'm from the O'Clancy clan. I see. That's what it comes to painting. If the O'Clancy clan can't, no clan can. So what kind of painting do you indulge in? We like to do what is called space art. Space art. No, 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 no. Space art. Space art. 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 Now nah, you got it. And what exactly is space art? art? Space art. It's an art form that depicts outer space. You mean like planets and stars? And... No, I mean tulips in the field. Of course, it's planets and stars and stuff. I try to capture the wonders and majesty of our universe. Planets, constellations, spacecraft... Baby Yodas, astronauts, black holes, yellow stars, blue moons, pink hearts, green clovers. Oh, wait a minute. And other heavenly bodies found in space art. Well, for a second there, it sounded like you were describing what's in Lucky Charms cereal. Well, I suppose so, those being the symbols of leprechauns. What do leprechauns have to do with outer space? Leprechauns are from outer space. I'm sorry. Never apologize. It's a sign of weakness. Even the leprechauns know that. The leprechauns from outer space. Aye, all the leprechauns. So all leprechauns are from outer space. Tis a fact, me lad. How did they get to Earth? We with our magic shillelaghs, of course. Are you putting me on? No, 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 no. You're not me size. I couldn't put you on. Did you bring any samples of your work? But of course, my lad. Here, let me show you some. Uh, I call this one Leprechauns on Pluto. That's a picture of leprechauns riding in the back of a big dog. Aye, that's Pluto, Mickey Mouse's dog. Uh-huh. Um, what else you got? Who got this one of a leprechaun flying through space, warming himself with an electric appliance? Which would be... A space heater. Uh-huh. Now, here's one of a leprechaun flying through space amidst a bunch of large rocks. Um... Uh, Asteroids, I presume? Aye, that poor lad. But don't worry, some preparation H fixed that right up. Here's a picture of a leprechaun scrubbing the inside of a bathtub with a cleanser. What does that have to do with... Look closely at the cleanser. What's the name on it? Comet. Aye. And this one has a leprechaun floating next to what looks like a very large version of a prominent politician. That would be a gas giant. What the heck? Here's a painting of a leprechaun floating into a... Ladies' restroom? Hey, laddie, what does that have to do with space? He's going to go where no man has gone before. Okay, that's really a stupid and old joke. I'm a stupid and old painter, so what do you expect, me lad? I think we're pretty much done here and... Oh, tut, 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 me lad. I have one more Star Trek-related painting here. Do you? This little fellow is dressed as the captain of the USS Enterprise, doing a scene from one of the Star Trek movies. And I'm afraid to ask... Which Star Trek movie would that be? Star Trek II, The Wrath of Lepra. Alrighty, well, this interview didn't go anywhere like I thought it would. You're welcome. So, leprechauns are from space. Hey, they come from the planet Leprechaunacorpia. Okay, I should have quit two lines ago. Uh, thank you. Can you go now? Oh, you don't have to ask me twice, laddy book. Toodaloo. Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell, Mr. Bell. Am I here? I just thought I heard myself leave, but I seem to be here. Uh, no, that was my last guest leaving. 
At least I hope he was my last guest. Well, that was your last guest. And it's pizza time. Who's your pizza? Is the pizza here? Let's eat the pizza. Or which pizza was decided on? I don't know. Have the votes been counted? Have the votes been counted? The counting has been completed. Yay! I have already called in the order. It should be delivered any minute now. Oh, oh pepperoni! Supreme! Maybe. With pineapple! Over my dead body! I'd rather have it over the pizza! It's, it's here. here! I'll get it! You don't want to get it. Why do not want to get it? Whoever gets it pays for it. Go get it, Mr. Bell! All right, all right. After a fair count by Miss Schmackelheimer, I can't wait to see what kind of pizza we got. Yes? Delivery! Yes, yes? Who ordered the super deluxe memory upgrade? Miss Schmackelheimer! You have been listening to Bells in the Bat for episode 262, copyright 2020, by John Bell Creative, LLC. Does this upgrade make me look fat? Oh, be quiet! Pass the sardines. Hello, I'm John Bell of Bells in the Bat Free. It's a comedy podcast. Fridays and every other Sunday. Well, anyway, back in episode five of Bells in the Bad Free, we introduced the cowlets, tiny little cows. Where did all these cats come from? They're not cats, they're cows, and they're heading toward the water cooler. Stop it before. Now you can display your love of these tiny cows with genuine cowlet t-shirts. You know what's really fun to do with these shirts? Get a whole bunch of people to buy them. Then you all gather together and run down the street. People will see these cowlets coming toward them and think it's a stampede. You think that would really work, Brad? Shh, I'm pushing for bulk sales here. You can also get cowlet mugs, clocks, and other items. Just go to thebatfree.com and click on shop. This is a limited time offer. No, it's not. You just do not not understand advertising, do you? Get your merchandise today with the official Cowlet design created by Jeff Music. Buying lots of them would bring music to my ears. Oh, stop. Stop.